Well, hey guys, just want to take some time today to show you my current hobby project. So this is a prototype Time of Legends Joan of Arc Blood Bowl board. So what I did was I purchased some metal sheeting and some of this grass mat and a white chalk marker. And I mounted everything into a picture frame that I'd resized with a mitre block. And this is what we've got. So, and the reason it's metal is that all of these guys are magnetized. So they're not going anywhere. So why have I made this? Well, so I've been playing a lot of Blood Bowl recently, really enjoying it. But I wanted, to, I wanted something on a smaller scale that we could use. So for example, your typical Blood Bowl character is about the same size as this. This is a kind of bog standard Age of Sigmar character. And these are the Time of Legend Joan of Arc scale, which is obviously much, much smaller. So we're saving at least half of the space by doing it like this. So the end game is have some sort of travel option, but I want it modular so I can build a stadium around it as well. And I just want to pause there for a second just to explain that I received Joan of Arc last week and I'm absolutely in love with it. And that's the other reason why I wanted to do this. Just a big merging of my two favourite games at the moment. Blood Bowl, Time of Legends, Joan of Arc. It can't get better than this, at least for me. So fans of Blood Bowl will already know that we have got a score track, a turn track and a re-roll track. We've got three areas set up for our reserves, our injured and our dead players. And the rest of it is scale wise set out like a normal Blood Bowl board. So we've got our two end zones and we've got a 26 by 15 pitch. So what I did was I used the white chalk marker to mark out the spaces. 15 millimeter base on these and I went for 18 millimeter square um, placement units so that we could fit everything in adequately. I took one of the player bases from the John of Arc game to act as the ball. So when a player is on there that will adequately stick with the magnet. Um, so that works well. These banners from the plunder option for Time of Legends Joan of Arc are working as our as our trackers. So yeah, this is it as it goes so far. So like I say, this is the start of a wider hobby project. So the intention is to have a modular board that will, will allow us to build a stadium around it and have at least a portion of it being kind of really travel friendly so you can take it out and play it out and about. So this is just a prototype. And if this video does very well, one of my subscribers will, will, will be in with a chance to win it. It's pretty rough and ready in terms of, you know, this picture frame. I sprayed it with lead belcher and some of it scraped off and that kind of stuff. But it's very much a prototype. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing bigger, better things with it. So to keep up to date with the stadium that I'm going to be building, just subscribe to the channel and I'll have something else in about a week or so. And like I say, if you want to win this, all you have to do is subscribe and comment on this video. And if it does very well, I will pick a name out of the hat and we'll send it to them. And if it does really well, I'll make another one and send it over to Mythic Games. So anyway, thanks very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, like and subscribe. And if you didn't, let me know why. Catch you later.